Hey, Morrison. Hey. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. Well, hey, hey, what's wrong? Got fired. <laughs> I just came from getting my things, and I, you know, I didn't feel like going home. Okay, let me go call my dad. Maybe no. you can do so. No, no, it's, it's okay. It's actually not the worst thing that happened. Well, talk to me. I don't know if I want to talk about oh, it. Come on, come on, Marcy. Well, Michael and I, um... You and Michael what? We broke up. You and Marcy broke up? Why? I don't know. We had a fight. I'm not even sure how it started. I said some things, and then she said some things, and then uh, I said it was over. Did you mean it? I love Marcy. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. It's just... It's just what? What are you going to do to get her back? Right here. Hey, I don't even know where to start. About from the beginning. Okay, well, first of all, I woke up yesterday morning and my alarm clock never went off, so I was late for the bus, right? So then I wait for the next bus to come, only when the next bus came, I didn't have exact change. Hey, Marcy, how about I take you to breakfast? I'm not hungry. Can you believe that? I'm not hungry. I don't usually want to get upset and nervous and stressed out. All I ever do is, I must be really messed up if I can't even eat. Well, look, you have to eat because the last time you didn't eat, you ended up in the hospital. No, you just sound like Michael. Well, that's because we both care about you. I just think I need to be alone for a while. You sure? Yeah. I just can't talk about it yet. Thanks, Riley. I don't know what to do. So that's it? You're just gonna give up? I thought you loved Marcy. I do. Then fight for her. How? We can't find five minutes to be alone. Well, you're gonna have to find the time. Be creative, or else both of you are gonna be miserable. You know, if it was just that, I'm pretty sure we could work it out. What do you mean? We're just so different. Oh, I'm different. Well, that's what makes you two so good together. As good as her now. Is that what this is about? Uh, she says it's not. Well, then she's telling the truth. You've really helped her get past Al. I don't know. Sometimes... Sometimes I think that Marcy doesn't even realize how much she still misses Al. Well, I had a past with Al, too. And... I mean, yeah, you two are different, but... There is something about you that... Sometimes reminds me of him. Every couple has problems. I mean, Riley and I, we've got some stuff to work out, but we're trying, Michael. If you love somebody, you'll do whatever it takes. Or else you're never going to be happy. And neither will the person that you love. Why is this so important to you? Because Marcy's my best friend, and you make her happy. You know, I was there when she lost Al, and I thought she would never smile again. But you made that happen. And you can't just mess things up because you don't think that you deserve somebody. You know, you can't just ruin everything because you don't think that you're good enough. Who exactly are we talking about here? Me or you? Okay, yeah, I, I've done some stupid things. But that doesn't mean that you have to. So why don't you just call her? Add a juice. Okay, well, you can use mine. You know, I don't want to use up your minutes. <laughs> okay, there's a payphone. Let's go. Come on. We're not going to let up on this, <laughs> are you? Hi, uh, 
uh, Marcy, it's, um, it's me, Michael. Um, where, where are you right now? Standing right behind you. Were you calling me? Mm, could it be that you actually came to feed yourself? I still can't believe you're on my case about that, Michael. Didn't you break up with me? Yeah, well, I still care, okay? Oh, really? Really. Uh, I'm gonna leave now. Are you guys gonna be okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you later. So? Why were you calling me, Michael? I, um... I, I, I called to, uh... What? I called to say that I was sorry about the things I said to you when we were fighting. Me too. I love you, Marcy. I mean, that's really why I called. Because I love you. I didn't sleep at all last night. I was thinking about our fight, you know, and... We both said stuff. You know, we were angry. And it never should have gotten to that point. Listen, Michael, if you're trying to say that, you never should have broke up with me. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. <sighs> what? I love you. You know that, right? So what's the problem? It's not just one problem, Michael. It's all of the problems. Okay. You're still mad at me. I admit it. I, I slipped into old jerky Michael for a second there. No. You want me to make it up to you? I will. No. I promise. No. That is not it. Then what? Nothing's right between us anymore, Michael. I mean, we hardly have any time to be together, and when we do, we just wind up fighting. We could get past that. Maybe we could. Maybe we could get past that, but there's something else. There's something that we can, and it's my fault, okay? I never should have... It was too soon for me to get involved with you. It was too soon after... Now. You're right, okay? I haven't gotten over him, and it was my fault. It wasn't fair to you. Michael, you deserve better. So what are you trying to say here, Marcy? I'm saying... Michael, I'm saying that I agree with you. I agree with everything you said before. I... I don't think we're meant to be. I guess if you feel like we're not meant to be together, then, uh... Nothing else to say. Well, I was kind of hoping that we could still be friends. Friends? Michael, I don't know if I can handle losing you completely from my life. Like you did, Al. Well, you got one thing right. I'm not Al. I never will be. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. You, you don't need to apologize. But I'll be fine. Marcy. Sure. I'm sure.